is Crystal L with Crystal and Company, and I'm here with another wig review. I'm today. I'm going to be reviewing Free Trust Equal Heaven, and here is the tag for Heaven. I have Heaven here in a P1B30. Um, it's curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. I have never curled this uh, unit. Um, I have actually not worn it too often yet, but I'm, you know, it's in rotation. It's in, it's in queue basically for it to be worn, uh, coming up really, really soon. So anyway, I just wanted to do like a comparison between this wig and Model Model Joy, which I will show you in a little bit, uh, later, but right now I just want to show you Free Trust Equal Heaven. And, um, as you can see, it's a very, very pretty wig. I hope you guys can see, um, all the highlights. Um, it has the, um, the 30, right here, that 30 highlight going throughout the hair. And you can see it here and a little bit in the front. The parting is really, really nice. I did tweeze the part a little bit and added some powder to it to give it a more of a realistic look. And overall, I'm really, really happy with this wig. This is very, very nice style. It's a very nice everyday style. It's great for work. It's great for play. It's just great for everything. It's just a nice low key look. Um, it has that um, blown out or blown out and, curl and flat iron look if you're natural, or it has that really healthy relaxed hair look with the bump under um, on the ends. It's very very nice. I mean. This is basically how I wore my hair, you know, basically in high school and in college. This is my go-to style with the, the basically the wrap style. So I, I like it a the lot. The wig cap fits very, very nicely. It's not too small. It fits just perfectly. Um, the combs, it does have the two combs in the front. I love the ear tabs because the ear tabs kind of help, you know, mold the um, wig down to the side of your head which is really nice. It has the comb in the back and then also, of course, the adjustable straps. And um, it's just really, really nice. It's a nice uh, natural luster wig um, with a yakky texture. Um, there's really not much else to say about this wig. It's a really nice wig. Like, I really like it. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. I think it looks really, really good. Um, you know, I've got my edges out just a little bit. This isn't how I would normally wear my edges out. But I mean, I usually would pull out a little bit more and slick them down. But even with this wig, I don't really feel like you have to take your edges out. Like if you didn't want to take your edges out, you probably wouldn't have to because it comes up, the, the hairline comes so far forward, which I love, that you don't have to worry about um, what are you going to do with, with your hair. So yeah. this is what the hairline in the front is looking like. Yeah, that's what that looks like right there in the front. Looks really good. And this is what it looks like on the side. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. So tell me what you guys think. So let me go and put on the Joy wig and we can do like a little comparison contrast. Okay, y'all. So now I have on Model Model Joy. And this is in a number two. I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like Model Model Joy, this is the length of Model Model Joy. I feel like the length is actually a slightly longer than um, Heaven. And I feel like the hair, the style is very, very similar. I mean, it's pretty much identical, but I feel like the hair is like a little bit bigger for some reason or bushier. I just feel like it's just something about it. it's like a little bit bigger and fluffier than my Heaven wig. But they're both really, really pretty. I mean, as you can see, um, here's the parting on Joy right here. Again, the wig, the wig construction uh, is identical to the Heaven wig. So uh, with the two combs, comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. Um, the parting is great. I did pluck the parting a little bit so and added some powder to it. But I really didn't do a whole lot to this wig. And really not a whole lot needs to be done. So it's a very nice wig, very work friendly, again, um, sophisticated. And I don't know about you guys, but I almost feel like this wig has almost like a, I almost get like an Oprah, kind of like Olivia Pope type of vibe to it. And I guess the one thing about, the one thing I'm not crazy about with the wig is that it does make me feel a little bit, a little bit old. I don't know. 
know. Something about the shorter length to me is like a little bit aging, but that's just me. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. You tell me what y'all think. And tell me what you think in comparison to Heaven 1B30. Do you like the highlights better or you like the solid color better? I like them both. Now this one I actually wear more often. I've worn this to work. I've probably worn it a maximum of like seven days. Um, there is a little bit of tangling at the ends, and um, but very, very little shedding. And also Heaven has very, very little shedding. So I don't get a whole lot of shedding from either of these wigs. Um, but I have gotten a little bit of tangling with this wig. Just a little bit. But not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Again, the hairline is very nice. So if you didn't want to leave any hair out, you wouldn't have to. The wig cap fits very, very nicely there on the side. And overall, I'm very happy with this wig. And I have actually like flip flop between this one and Janny at work and been just fine. This wig is a little bit shorter than Janny and it has the layers that uh, deeper layers that Janny doesn't have. And it's in a number two and the texture is a little bit different, but no one really notices though. So. It don't matter. I like it. Well, anyway, so this is it, y'all. Tell me what you think about these wigs. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And please visit my blog. It's crafts.crystalinco.com. It's my crafting and sewing blog. So please be sure to check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.